forever I've had the fascination of folding, folding paper. Last spring I studied in Hong Kong for six months. There's origami, but there's also the garments underneath, the base garments. A lot of this inspiration comes from me being in Hong Kong. The juxtaposition from the buildings to the nature that they include around all the buildings, in the buildings. The structure of my garments came from that. My collection is inspired by folk dresses coming from two regions of Mexico, which is Veracruz and the Federal District of Mexico. The purpose of the collection is to celebrate Latinx and Hispanic heritage and culture and to also honor um, traditional aspects of the folk dresses. The term Notes on Volume represents my collection in two facets. Metaphorically, it talks about the business industry and the conversation about women's voices and how they are presented to people. Physically, it's about the notes of detail on top of the shapes of volume. We live in a world where we are judged by our looks before we are judged by our minds. And even though we are evolving, I want these women to have every tool in their box to make their voices heard. I titled my collection 1014 because it is a reminder of self-love. It is also my birth date, and it's also an initiation of renewal and regrowth. It is about queer resilience to the adversity that we face. I wanted to show a futuristic aesthetic because I feel like queer people are the future. So I just wanted to like highlight that and empower trans and non-binary individuals. This collection will explore several aspects of surface design, including embroidery, embellishment, dye techniques. Additionally, the included looks explore such areas as silhouette, fabrication, cut, and closures that may make a garment more unique. I went out of my way to try to source dead stock fabric, fabric scraps, and secondhand, so that is the majority of what the looks are made out of.
My collection is based upon the majority contribution of black culture to fashion with minimal to no accreditation through an ally lens. I was inspired by an artist called Louisiana B. Pendle. She's part of the Yee's Bend Quilters in Alabama. Also Leonardo Drew, who is also a black artist. This collection is supposed to raise awareness and encourage empowerment. I got inspiration from black culture and I wanted to showcase that through icons and different trend eras. I mainly draw and focus from the Black Panther movement and the Harlem Renaissance. And I wanted to showcase that through color and different textures. I was born and raised in the beautiful Rainbow Nation called South Africa. It was very important to me to showcase my South African roots and new American way of life through each of my garments. My hats are inspired by cowboy hats and my shoes are a nod to corporate America. It was really important to me to represent all South Africans and I accomplished that by taking inspiration from South African wildlife and designing prints based on it. When one looks at my collection, it is distinct elements from two polarizing cultures beautifully coming together as one. The focus of my collection is to explore how to combine the Chinese traditional clothing with the craft fashion and the daily life. For uh, incorporating some details and the elements of tea time clothing and the nature, the popularity of Han Fu is getting higher and higher, and uh, more and more people appreciate the beauty of Han Fu. However, because Han Fu is very different from popular daily clothing, I want to design a collection that everyone who like Han Fu or like the Chinese culture and uh, like, like some different. My collection is for a contemporary market. I dedicated this collection to my great-grandmother who's always believed in me, has always enjoyed my crochet and knitwear, and she was one of the best people in my life.
This is my collection. It is a bridal collection and the concept is basically like the cool girl is getting married. She's independent, she's mature, intelligent. She has her disposable income that she loves investing and in, her quality clothing. I used couture techniques throughout this whole collection, hand sewing and construction. For my collection, I was inspired by upcycling, making clothing that's multi-wearable, and also Corvettes. I didn't just want to upcycle fabric, I also wanted to upcycle stuff from a different industry. So I decided, why not do the car industry, because there's a lot of waste that ends up coming from the industry. Growing up, I'd always been around Corvettes, so I decided to take the Corvette inspiration and add pieces of the cars throughout the collection, but also use inspiration for silhouettes. My collection is based off of a Bible verse, which is 2 Timothy 1.6. It says, For this reason, I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. So each of these garments adapt through different size adaptations, such as like button pockets, tie panels, elastic, and drawstrings. my collection, I wanted to create a sustainable collection through the use of design rather than materials. With this collection, I wanted to address overconsumption and how we can encourage consumers to buy less. So I looked to the concept of modular design, so through removable sleeves mainly, and then there are some various other components that are detachable, and then they can be swapped around with other garments in the collection. Initially, when I was conceptualizing the collection, the one thing I knew was that I wanted to explore masculinity and femininity. This was really important to me because I was questioning my own gender a lot at the time, and since then, I've been able to come out as the trans woman that I am today, and I've felt empowered by my femininity and been able to channel that into this collection. The reason I entitled it Embracing Chaos is because it's about embracing femininity in a powerful way. Chaos cannot be controlled and neither should femininity.
wanted to focus on bringing a sustainable element into evening wear. I wanted all my fabrics to be 100% natural fibers. And because they're all natural fibers, I was able to dye my collection using 100% natural materials. All the colors you see today, I hand dyed them using various onion skins, coffee beans, blueberries, turmeric, and indigo dye. I decided to make this collection as more of an art piece couture love note to my hypothetical bride. So it's largely inspired by Marie Antoinette's Rococo court apparel, as well as some of her countryside milkmaid fashion apparel. I have created a collection which is a adaptable and accessible collection for individuals with non-verbal autism. It can also help with depression and anxiety, but it is not limited to just these disorders and disabilities. Each outfit is designed to help a sensory issue such as feeling tightness around, so it gives you the feeling of like cocooning. Good boy. 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 Good boy.